There's a new weapon for your COVID arsenal tonight. Late this afternoon, the CDC approved an updated vaccine for anyone six months and older, and it should be available in the next two days. It's not clear, though, how many Minnesotans will roll up their sleeves. Danny Spiewak explains who should be getting the new shot and when. After FDA approval on Monday, the CDC has now signed off on new Pfizer and Moderna COVID boosters for everyone six months and older. What does it mean that we have this new booster now? I think we moved it to this place where this is just going to become part of our lives. Dr. Jill Foster is a professor of pediatrics at the University of Minnesota Medical School. The booster covers the predominant strain that is around now, the XBB 1.5. But health experts have a lot of work to do to get the public on board. In Minnesota, only 27% of people are considered up to date on their COVID vaccines, meaning they got a full vaccine series and booster. I think we really need to let people know this just isn't a cold. Getting COVID over and over again is really not good for you. The new booster comes at a time when COVID cases are rising, although not nearly to levels seen early in the pandemic. For example, the rate of new COVID hospitalizations in Minnesota is one-tenth of what it was in November 2020. Primarily, we're seeing hospitalizations among older adults. Because they're more susceptible to severe illness are also the ones we want to make sure get this new vaccine when it's available. Dr. Hannah Lixon is an internist and pediatrician at Hennepin Healthcare. I think of it as part of our cold and flu season now, is we need to be thinking about COVID as part of that. Health experts say you can get the COVID and flu vaccines at the same time this fall. We gave them together last year, and now good data is out to show that they work really well together. Keep in mind, though, the federal government is not paying for these latest COVID boosters, but they will probably still be free for you. Private insurance companies, as well as Medicare and Medicaid, are required to cover these shots. Plus, a federal program will make the shots free at clinics and pharmacies for people who do not have insurance.